The double uni knot. We're gonna learn that today here at the Guggen Lab. Connection knots are important. Your fishing braid, fluoro connections, it's probably the most common in, in bass fishing. Uh, this, is, this is really to connect these two in uh, a quick, secure way, make sure that fish is not getting away. So the double uni knot is uh, an overlapping of two different lines. We've got some paracord uh, laid out here and we're gonna show you how to do this step by step. So the first thing you're gonna do is overlap your lines. So say you're doing a braid fluoro connection, you just wanna cross them like this. Give yourself plenty of room, about a foot on, uh, on each side to work with. So we got our two lines here. Now the green line, for visual purposes, this is gonna be our braid. And then our brown is gonna be our, our fluoro. And we're going to cross the lines like this bring them together and you want to do about eight or nine wraps if you're using braid and then on the fluoro or mono five or six wraps around so we'll cross the lines like this we'll come back down the line and then we're gonna go through this loop right here eight or nine times you want to make sure you have enough tag in to do that. Give ourselves a little extra room. There we go. So going around these two right here eight or nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I kind of want to nurse the knot as I'm pulling the, the braid tag in here. I'm pushing the knot forward with my other hand so it's not going to overlap on itself. So I'm going to get that going. We're not going to tighten it down all the way just yet because we still need to tie our other knot. But just about tight is good. Like that. not fully tight and when you do it properly you should have the line going in a nice clean looking wrap and not binding up on itself so now we'll move to our mono going around our braid or our fluoro going around our braid overlap come back down create the loop there's our loop right here and we're gonna go around these two lines five or six times. One, two, three, four, five, six times to be safe. We're gonna do the same thing. Just pull that tag end and you're going to just kind of nurse the knot as it starts to tighten. go almost there and the reason you don't want to fully tighten it is because we still need to connect these two all the way so we're gonna leave enough slack in that knot where it should slide together so then you're gonna take your main lines and you're gonna pull them and you can nurse the knot even more if you want to as you pull they'll start to come together and I'll just kind of clean it up there at the end. Looks good. Don't have the overlapping and then we're gonna fully tighten it down. There we go. Then you're just gonna clip your tag ends. Now when you're using braid, you can leave a pretty good tag end on it because braid is very limp. It's, it's not gonna catch on your guides too much. But when you're using fluoro or mono, that might catch on your guides a little bit. So I like to shorten that tag just enough. You really want to make sure you tighten this good though, because when you catch a fish or you 
pulling on a fish, it's gonna tighten down even more than you're pulling with your fingers. So leave just a little bit of room for that knife not to tighten down. Cut those tags. And there is our double uni knot ready to bring in a fish. If you want to stay tuned for more tips and tricks or learn more awesome knots like this, subscribe right here to the Googie Lab.